the Mueller report hit Donald Trump Jr. right in the face. Rather than being happy about his father being exonerated by the report on a lack of conspiracy with the Russians, Donald Trump's eldest son attacked everyone he could think of. The Trumps are just molten black holes of rage. Trump Jr. tweeted out his steaming anger, claiming that the media were just lackeys for the Democrats the farce that the Democrats and their media lackeys perpetrated on the American people for over two years should never be forgotten. The special counsel's investigation did not find that the Trump campaign or anyone associated with it conspired or coordinated with Russia. The president gave the press a brief statement, but for some reason, Trump Jr. thought the world would be interested in his own statement. That was an odd premise, and his message was one filled with bitterness. He tweeted my statement. He even wanted to repossess the journalists' Pulitzer Prizes. They should convert those Pulitzers to number fact news awards. How do you win a reporting award for reporting fake news? There should be a recall. Those Pulitzers were earned like Liz Warren's tenure. This is the president's number one son's entire statement below. He claimed that he and some others that he knows only have some minds. After two years of non stop conspiracy theories from CNN, MSNBC, BuzzFeed, and the rest of the mainstream media, as well as daily lies and smears coming from Democrats in Washington, the Mueller report proves what those of us with some minds have known all along there was zero collusion with Russia. Then, Don Jr. continued, calling the Democrats filled with sick and twisted conspiracy theories. Sadly, instead of apologizing for needlessly destabilizing the country in a transparent attempt to delegitimize the 2016 election, it's clear that the collusion truthers in the media and the Democrat Party are only going to double down on their sick and twisted conspiracy theories moving forward. Finally, the first son appeared to confuse honest journalists with those who fawned over his dad and told him everything he wanted to hear rather. Then, Don Jr. urged people to treat journalists with scorn and ridicule. It is my hope that honest journalists within the media have the courage to hold these now fully debunked truthers accountable and treat them with the scorn and ridicule that they so deserve.